And as if the fires really weren't enough to contend with, an earthquake struck near Malibu. The U.S. Geological Survey has reported that a 3.3 magnitude quake hit about 12.44 this morning. It's an earthquake rattled Julian early this morning. We have security video inside Mountain Spirits Liquor. The owner says he felt it. A magnitude 4 quake hit at 4.30 was followed shortly by a 3.0. This quake follows a series of other earthquakes that have hit that same area over the past few days. Numerous people in the Los Angeles area, including celebrities, evacuating their homes amid the wildfires there. We have a liberal anti-Trump comic, Chelsea Handler, blaming it on the president. Chelsea Handler tweeting out, quote, just evacuated my house. It's like Donald Trump is setting the world on fire, literally and figuratively. Handler tweeted yesterday, stay safe, everyone, dark times. First, a very different side of nature, an early December snowstorm in an unlikely place. Crazy stuff going on. Matt Bonner tweeting this video from San Antonio, south of us tonight. The snow sticking to cars, sticking to the ground, sticking to Texas. You heard that right. Woke up to a rare winter wonderland. Can you believe this? This was a scene last night in College Station, Texas. There was also some snow in Houston and San Antonio. It is here from fire to ice. Snow fell in Houston for the first time in seven years. Up to three inches fell in the city, which could be a record. the hottest year on record, 13% uh, dropped in the Arctic ice in the past decade. Uh, you have discussed the shortage in water supplies. How imminent is this crisis? Uh, when we will see the catastrophe? Is it in our lifetime? Is it in our kids' lifetime? I think we live in, in it today already. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's coming somehow in the future. We literally live in it. We feel it. If you look at the fresh water shortages, if you look at the water security risk around the world, no single country or region, or region could escape from it. So it's already happening. It's not a challenge for tomorrow. It's already a challenge for today. Last week, New Delhi was literally shut down as a result of smog generated from fires in the rural countryside. Hundreds of schools were closed. There was road chaos on the streets. And it's not just Delhi. Cities across China, parts of South Asia, are having experiences that are reminiscent of those of the Industrial Age 100 years ago.